Hello friends, it's Akita Xayad here. Welcome back to another interesting episode on head um, head ventilation and air conditioning system in Rabbit. Okay, we stopped here the other time. We explained about a bit about plumbing. All right, sorry, putting duct to the building. Okay. So I will have to adjust this ones here because if you can see. My building is my roof is a slop roof, so though here is my ceiling, this is where my ceiling resides. Move from here all the way down to this place, I guess. What happened? I don't know. Oh, here is where my ceiling is. <laughs> but this one, I will end up deleting this one somewhere here. I guess somewhere here. All right. So I will end up deleting this one. Let me see. Cancel. All right. So for the other one, it's going. Okay. So to avoid too much talking, let's go to my valve terminal okay my valve terminal consists of some several outputs and inputs okay so the output and input the output is uh, my supply diffusers the outputs are connected to the supply diffusers why the input the input sorry i said input <laughs> the input <laughs> is connected to that of um, return diffusers the return diffusers and the air terminal oh, let's say environment air within the house within outside of the building so the environment air and the return air goes back into the valve unit this is if we go on i will show you all the process because if i say i'm going to explain some people will end up not understanding because some terms are very big is it like the valve terminal this is the valve terminal or the valve system okay it's a regulator it regulates the the amount of heat uh, sorry the amount of air within a building okay so i have this like i said in my flow plan oh sorry the ceiling level megan in my flow plan all right so you, you can see something here i have this point here this place for my dock to go through into the next building this place is dedicated just for the dock all right so let's check it out sorry flip plan one make one all right, so it's about this place is somewhere here, and I need to move this to this place. The door is not supposed to be here. Sorry, I can change it to this place, but for now, let's just leave it. I made a mistake. This door is not supposed to be here. All right this is my out press on the tab key okay this is where the out is and now move it a bit all right it's positioned perfectly okay not perfectly enough okay so i can connect the rest somewhere here like this Okay, for now, let's start with the out. 
click on this and now I want to change elevation to 3500 sorry not to 3500 to was the entire height of the building let me check I forgot the entire height of the building south elevation the entire height of the building is 11,000 but my roof sorry my pipe let me modify my pipe will stop somewhere let's see here from the base which is about 10,700 okay go to flow sorry. flow and now select click on this arrow here change the elevation so not the offset yeah, no offset, sorry. To 10,700. Perfect. And now, boom. What does it say? There was no enough room of space required to the fittings. Okay, cancel. What you're saying is, if if the space between here to here you know there will be an elbow here and there will be another one connect we will another one changing the level of the pipe if the if the place is very small it will not accommodate the fittings then you will have a bit of a problem okay so let me change it again to ten thousand seven hundred and hit and enter and now press here you see now I have my pipe going the way it should be okay you can see it's moving upwards but it's not exactly what I intended or wanted so it's connected from here all the way to the top and now from there I can go to my ceiling level ceiling level 1 okay so good system now click on dock the desired size you want desired size 280 or any size you feel is okay by you now I have this here what do I do change this height offset to 3500 and now click and enter these are my supply dive users this one this one this one and this one so you can see you're going to put pipe going all the way through every place some places will be connected with um, flexible ducts so but most of them will be connected with your dustin so what to do here is just connect it all right come to the middle here connect press on it and now stop here okay so what I did was if you've noticed you will see here is elbowed is metered so what is what happened was if you select this 
you will have a radial um, junction or elbow but if you select this one you will have this type of junction so that is why it's this way now select on this okay right click mm, just see it here cap end so I closed my endpoint now I can select dock again system go to dock again from here you can select it to come to this place all right so it says um, no auto root solution was found cancel all right sometimes some errors happen because I don't really know why the only reason why the error happened was because Is because it was somewhere here so okay now you can cap each and every sorry I'm used to right clicking cap cap all of them and now cap this one cap this one and cap this one perfect now we are to connect the pie we are to connect the docks to my dive users select the dive user now say connect into this pipe all right so you can see it has a connection though if you have noticed control z it's not um, aligned control z is best i align it to have um, a very uniform system all right perfect now let's check the other ones I think this one is aligned and I think this one also is aligned okay so now select on your dive user connect into and if you press now you see is connected perfectly likewise the other one connect into is now connected sorry into okay so let me show you what we have here go to your 3d so you see we have something like this from this one here I was able to take in connect and then I connected each and every diffuser I blocked everything up and I have something like this so there is another thing I forgot I forgot the other diffuser this is also a diffuser so instead to sometimes to reduce cost we use flexible ducts sorry we use flexible ducts these flexible ducts are very very good let's see perfect the flexible ducts help in cost reduction because is this is much more expensive than this one but this yeah, this one is much more durable in time than the flexible duct sometimes the flexible duct will end up um, 
um, deteriorate it deteriorates are um, within time so you end up having um, leakages in your system but for this one it lasts for, for a long period of time okay so we connected some of the diffusers so we're going to stop here for this video thank you very much for watching you have learned how to connect the diffusers so same thing applies just go to the next level okay click on dock again this is still your connector now this time around what, what happens is I guess you're going to still press on 3500 and click on it and let's see if it's correct or not all right 3d so you see you have it at the next level likewise the last one go to that measurement again and put it up and we are going to have and connect the supply diffusers okay let's stop here for this video i'm going to complete i will come i will connect all the supply diffusers and i will share this file in the description of the video so that um you we are going i'm going to share this file so that we are going to you're going to catch up with me in the next tutorial sorry i am a bit somehow today okay um i i was able to create um a Facebook group I will share the link in the description of the video so if you want you can join that group and if you have any question you can ask me in that group I will be very active in that please thank you very much for watching let's see same time tomorrow for another interesting episode goodbye for now